at the parameters so we are looking at the parameters of the coagulation pathway parameters of the coagulation pathway and we are also focusing on the users so first we are going to look at some parameters that is what is pt pt stands for the prothrombin time and what is it used for it is used to monitor the functioning of the extrinsic so functioning of the extrinsic so functioning of the extrinsic and the common coagulation pathway and common coagulation pathway next what we need to know is that the normal pt the normal pt it ranges from 12 to 16 seconds now let's move forward we are going to see what is aptt so aptt so aptt is nothing but activated partial thromboplastin time and it is used to monitor the functioning of the intrinsic so a functioning of the intrinsic and common coagulation pathway and also the common coagulation pathway so here the normal PAPTT is about 26 the normal is 26 to 34 seconds and a relatively rare cause of prolonged APTT is due to so in case of prolonged APTT it is due to the presence of antibodies so it is due to the presence of the antibodies and it is against the coagulation antibodies against so this antibody is against the coagulation so it is against the coagulation plasma proteins so it is against the coagulation plasma proteins and it is called the inhibitors called inhibitors so it can be seen due to the following reasons that is it can be seen due to the hemophilia the hemophilia so hemophilia a and b patients receiving clotting factors to control their bleeding episodes so they receive the clotting factors so receiving the clotting factors to control their bleeding episodes so clotting factors to control bleeding episodes as well as in case of pregnancy as well as in case of pregnancy then also the autoimmune diseases and the malignancies that is it can include the lymphomas as well as the prostate lymphomas and the prostate cancer and the dermatological conditions and also the derma conditions next we look at the tt tt stands for the thromboplastin time so thromboplastin time is used for testing the conversion so it is used for testing the conversion this is of the fibrinogen to the fibrin so tt is used for conversion of the fibrinogen to the fibrin and it depends on the adequate fibrinogen levels so it depends on the adequate fibrinogen levels so it depends on the adequate fibrinogen levels next we will look at bt so what is bt bt is nothing but the bleeding time so it is a time taken for the standardized skin puncture so it is a time taken for the standardized skin puncture and the, for to stop bleeding so what is it done to stop the bleed and it is a test the ability of the blood vessels to constrict and platelets so it tests the ability of the blood vessels so what it does is the ability of the blood vessels to constrict and to constrict so the blood vessels to constrict and platelets to form hemostatic flux so the platelet forms the hemostatic flux next we will look at something known as the fdp so what is the fdp fdp stands for the fibrin degradation products so this fibrin degradation products they are used as the fibrinolytic activity so you'll see the fibrinolytic fibrinolytic activity is monitored with this and they are increased in the dic so they are totally increased in case of the dic so in this video 
this was about the parameters of the coagulation and pathways and the uses. So we discussed certain parameters such as thermoplastin time, prothrombin time, bleeding time to name a few. And to learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.